Carrie Scholl with the Carrie Scholl team. Today you will see some spectacular homes and understand the average home value. We'll go over all different dining and commuting options and even talk to locals about how they feel living and working in the neighborhood. The Eclipse, located at 3600 and 3650 Glebe Road South in Arlington, was built in 2006 and has 11 stories and 221 units and is split into two wings, the east and the west. The unit mix ranges from studios to two bedroom, two bathroom units, and the building features tons of amenities. 41 units have sold in 2018, ranging from 240,000 to 585,000 for a two bedroom, two bath. Those looking for larger homes will want to look slightly outside of Crystal City in the neighborhoods of Aurora Highlands, Arlington Ridge, Arlington Views, and Arlandria. Attached and detached homes in these areas can be found starting around just 400,000. Now the range, depending on what you're looking for, is vast. Prices go all the way up to 1.5 or even $2 million for new construction homes. If you prefer something that's renovated or you have a size requirement, we'd love to provide more information for you. Whether you walk, drive, bike, or metro, Crystal City is a very convenient location. It has achieved a walk score of 84, a bike score of 83, and a transit score of 71, making it one of the top Arlington options across the board. Crystal City is on the yellow line and has the Pentagon City and Crystal City Metro within close proximity. Car owners will appreciate that it received a 98% in parking availability. Those who travel often for work will appreciate the close proximity of DCA just minutes from any point in Crystal City. The Commonwealth of Virginia will be investing $195 million in transportation for Amazon, so the ease of transportation should only get better. Over 130 restaurants, bars, and coffee shops in the same area. A five-minute walk, you can land at 20 different restaurant options. Some of our favorites are the Sky Dome, Clark Street Grill, Haleo, Norma Tria, and Legal Seafoods. Crystal City has tons of public amenities that are fun for any age, such as the ice skating rink in the winter or games and concerts in the summer. For those who are fitness gurus, they will enjoy this neighborhood as well. Next to the Fashion Center, there is the Virginia Highlands Park. The Virginia Highlands Park is the place to go for sports such as basketball, soccer, and tennis. There are jogging and biking trails connecting Crystal City to many other scenic areas. The Potomac River Trail and the Mount Vernon Trails connect to the iconic DC National Mall, scenic Old Town Alexandria, and out west to a more natural setting via four mile run. Regal Cinema is also a local hotspot for watching movies with family. Crystal City is home to over 23,000 smart, busy professional workers in the private and government sector, as well as a rising startup scene. Matched with low crime and great schools, Crystal City could be the perfect neighborhood for you. Let's talk to some of the locals and see what they think of Crystal City. It's very convenient. It has the metro, of course, but it also has uh, um, service, uh, many, several buses and also some companies. Have private shovels. I lived right down the road in the Arlington Views part of this area. Um, you can't beat the dining options over here and there are so many cool outdoor public spaces for hanging out with friends. It's a holistic environment. I walk to work. I live a, almost about a mile. I live on 23rd Street and I work at the Marshall Service down there so I uh, walk to and from work every day. I go home for lunch. The price compared to the Washington DC it's very, very convenient. It's lower than D.C. and you are five minutes from, from the heart of Washington. What would you say for people who are thinking about relocating to the area, they may want to know about the area? Um, I would recommend it if you can either walk to work like I do or a commute via a metro. I know a lot of people who live in Crystal City that, that do use the metro to go to D.C. and other points. And what about trails? I know a lot of people are running and biking all the time from this area. Can you talk a little bit about that? Oh, sure. Yeah, I do the uh, the trails all the time. So the main one, I guess, is that Potomac Trail uh, right over there, actually. And that can connect to either D.C. and you can do the mall route downtown or you can go west uh, to Four Mile Run or the WNOD Trail. So a uh, lot of great biking options over here. If you're looking to buy a national landing, as the top team in Arlington, we have access to more off-market properties, which means more housing options for you. Stay tuned, we'll be doing a Potomac Yard Spotlight, so subscribe and make sure you don't miss that.